Good morning everyone. Well, it's breakfast time and what's the best breakfast you can have on a Sunday morning? Some pulled pork potato chips. American style, man. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Breakfast. Breakfast of champions. Tastes exactly like every one of their other chips. Anyway, I wonder what I'm going to get up to today. Let's find out. But of course you can't start any day without one of these, can you? No sorry. It's probably the most important thing of the day, other than brushing your teeth. This is the most important part of anyone's day. Or maybe waking up, that might help. It's another beautiful winter's day here in Queensland. So let's go in these markets and suss them out. $49 didgeridoes. Gee, that's alright. I'd try one, except probably a thousand people's mouths have been over the top and look good. Designed by Aboriginals but not painted by Aboriginals. Well, at least they're honest. Look at this cream donut. Look at the size of it. It's huge. It's like 12 inches long and full of cream. Oh, just perfect. G'day. Oh, wow, you can buy guns here. Sweet. It's too bad they're fake. Oh, I'm amazed you can buy fake ones, actually. It'd be good if we had gun laws where we could buy whatever guns we wanted. Thanks a lot, Howard. Hey, pony rides. I don't know. I wonder if I'm too big for that. Probably. I'll probably break its legs. This plant here is called a mother-in-law's tongue. We got one at work. And it's been in like full darkness pretty much, only under bulb light for a couple of years and they still look pretty good. So if you've got a really shady or dark spot in your house and you want to plant, get one of these ones. They're a designated weed here, but hey, they still look all right. Budgies. Did you know the budgie is native to Australia? They hang around in huge flocks. Oh, look how cute these ones are. That's pretty. You're pretty. Hey, you're pretty. You're pretty. We're on animal farm. We got lambs and ducks and sheep. The chickens. This is Bernice's favourite animal, the alpaca. She loves the alpaca. She wants to own an alpaca one day. I keep telling you, you can't keep an alpaca in an apartment. You need some land for an alpaca. So if she wants an alpaca, she has to save up and earn probably at least $600,000 and buy a house. Then she can have an alpaca. These markets are actually set amongst tidal mangroves. So it feels like you're in the middle of nowhere, but in reality, you're in amongst it. Oh, you got a license for that, Machete? G'day, Greg here from Australia. Got me dry as a bone hat on. Only 45 bucks. That's alright. Made of leather. I should get one. What do you reckon? Where no. Are gonna, where are you going to wear it? Wear it down to the produce section. Pretend that I uh, I grew the stuff. We do. Here, let us sit down for a while. <laughs> get it? Let us sit down. <laughs> I end up buying this hat. Retail of 45, I hit him up at 35, we settled at 40, so that's alright. I need a nice wide brim hat because I don't really have one. So this would be perfect for my walks, try and keep as much sun off my face as possible, although it's not working, is it? 
Well, the sun's over there, so if I face this way, it's working perfectly. Look at this kangaroo. It's got a joey. <laughs> I'm still looking for the art of the deal. I'll find it one day. If I keep looking for it, I will find it. Bloody hell, I just got stuck talking to the owner here. Mate, what a kook he is. <laughs> He's telling me, oh no, you don't want that book. You want Think and Grow Rich and you want this other book. Blah, blah, blah. You read that and you'll have whatever you want. And I say, have you read it? Yeah, yeah. So, how come you look like uh, you live in the gutter and you're working in a bookshop then? Hey? Think about it. <laughs> you know those people that you ask them one question, they go off on this tangent and talk about something completely different, and then you start talking about the uh, forecoming stock market crash and all this conspiracy stuff. I'm like, dude. I just asked you a question. I didn't ask about the, your life story. Ah. I hear you, brother. Somehow we've ended up at uh, Aldi. But I'll tell you what, one thing that Aldi does have is cheap steaks. I mean, rump uh, in uh, Coles and Woolies is like 20 bucks a kilo. Here it's 15. So much cheaper. And the mince is only three bucks something. Compared to four, yeah, Aldi is the place to get your meat, that's for sure. Although I find their dairy products give me reflux. I don't know why. How's that Mercedes of yours going, mate? Glad you bought it. <laughs> oh, well, it's nice down here. We've got a couple of blokes fishing. So peaceful. <laughs> temperature is still really nice. It's actually warmer in the water than out of it. Water temp's about 24 I think. And outside at the moment it's probably about 20. Look at those waves at the back. Love watching the waves rolling in. Just so constant. What's that, What's that playing up there? Jet star, is it? Oh, he's gone! He's gone! Oh no! Yama. What are you drinking, Bernice? Wine. What? <laughs> I thought it was coffee. Oh my god. Oh, be careful! Oh. She already is soaking wet because a wave came and hit her when she was out there bathing. That's what I have for breakfast. See? What goes around comes around. What? 
just missed it. Damn it. Ah, oh, damn, I missed that one too. Ah, oh, damn. It. What the? Ah, oh, oh, come on. Ah, oh, for fuck. Come on, get in focus. There's a guy surfing. There's a guy surfing. Ah, oh, today thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow